Question 11. Name some types of motors used in vacuum cleaners, phonographic appliances, vending machines, refrigerators, rolling mills, lathes, power factor improvement and cranes. Answer. Following motors are used. Vacuum cleaners, universal motor, phonographic appliances, hysteresis motor, vending machines, shaded pole motor, refrigerators, capacitor split phase motors, rolling mills, cumulative motors, lathes, DC shunt motors, power factor improvement synchronous motors question 12 explain the forward resistance static resistance and dynamic resistance of a pn junction diode answer forward resistance resistance offered in a diode circuit when it is forward biased is called forward resistance dc or static resistance dc resistance can be explained as the ratio of the dc voltage across the diode to the direct current flowing through it ac or dynamic resistance it can be defined as the reciprocal of the slope of the forward characteristic of the diode it is the resistance offered by a diode to the changing forward current. Question 13. Why AC systems are preferred over DC systems? Answer. Due to following reasons. AC systems are preferred over DC systems. It is easy to maintain and change the voltage of AC electricity for transmission and distribution. Plant cost for AC transmission, circuit breakers, transformers etc. is much lower than the equivalent DC transmission from power stations. AC is produced so it is better to use AC than DC instead of converting it. When a large fault occurs in a network. It is easier to interrupt in an AC system as the sine wave current will naturally tend to zero at some point making the current easier to interrupt. Question 14. Explain thin film resistors and wire wound resistors. Answer. Thin film resistors. It is constructed as a thin film of resistive material is deposited on an insulating substrate. Desired results are obtained by either trimming the layer thickness or by cutting helical grooves of suitable pitch along its length. During this process, the value of the resistance is monitored closely and cutting of grooves is stopped as soon as the desired value of resistance is obtained. Wire wound resistors. Length of wire wound around an insulating cylindrical core are known as wire wound resistors. These wires are made of materials such as constantan and manganin because of their high resistivity and low temperature coefficients. The complete wire wound resistor is coated with an insulating material such as baked enamel. Question 15. Explain and compare JFETs and MOSFETs. Answer. Comparison of JFETs and MOSFETs. JFETs can only be operated in the depletion mode whereas MOSFETs can be operated in either depletion or in enhancement mode. In a JFET, if the gate is forward biased, excess carrier injunction occurs and the gate current is substantial. MOSFETs have input impedance much higher than that of JFETs. Thus is due to negligible small leakage current. JFETs have characteristic curves more flat than that of MOSFETs. MOSFET is indicating a higher drain resistance. When JFET is operated with a reverse bias on the junction, the gate current is larger than it would be in a comparable MOSFET. Question 16. Explain CMRR and what is a differential amplifier? Answer. Differential amplifier. The amplifier, which is used to amplify the voltage difference between two input lines neither of which is grounded, is called differential amplifier. This reduces the amount of noise injected into the amplifier because any noise appearing simultaneously on both the input terminals as the amplifying circuitry rejects it being a common mode signal. CMRR. It can be defined as the ratio of differential voltage voltage gain to common made voltage gain. If a differential amplifier is perfect, CMRR would be infinite because in that case common mode voltage gain would be zero. Question 17. Explain the application of storage batteries. Answer. Storage batteries are used for various purposes. Some of the applications are mentioned below. For the operation of protective devices and for emergency lighting at generating stations and substations. For starting, ignition and lighting of automobiles, aircrafts etc. For lighting on steam and diesel railways trains. As a supply power source in telephone exchange, laboratories and broadcasting stations. For emergency lighting at hospitals, banks, rural areas where electricity supplies are not possible. 
Question 18. State the difference between generator and alternator. Answer. Generator and alternator are two devices which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Both have the same principle of electromagnetic induction. The only difference is that their construction generator persists stationary magnetic field and rotating conductor which rolls on the armature with slip rings and brushes riding against each other. Hence it converts the induced impf into DC current for external load whereas an alternator has a stationary armature and rotating magnetic field for high voltages but for low voltage output rotating armature and stationary magnetic field is used. Question 19. Why are you interested in the electrician trade? Answer. If you are new to the electrical trade or are applying for an apprenticeship, you will probably be asked this question. Employers ask this question because they want to hear your motivations and goals so that can be sure that you really have an interest in the field. Question 20. Explain state maximum power transfer theorem. Answer. The maximum power transfer theorem explains about the load that a resistance will extract from the network. This includes the maximum power from the network and in this case the load resistance is being is equal to the resistance of the network and it also allows the resistance to be equal to the resistance of the network. This resistance can be viewed by the output terminals and the energy sources can be removed by leaving the internal resistance behind.